seconds out here with Igis. Igis, uh, can you tell us the latest on the uh, Fury Usyk uh, negotiation? Uh, there is no no more Fury Usyk negotiations. Uh, right now, we have a WBA already ordered a mandatory for Usyk. It's a Daniel Dubois. And uh, uh, first bit is already set for the next week, next Wednesday in Houston at the WBA office. And uh, it's a Daniel Dubois mandatory. So uh, whatever who's going to win the first bit on Wednesday, we're going we're gonna to know. And that's what we're going to be preparing for the fight. Why do you believe the negotiations broke down with Fury? Uh, you know, his team, his, his himself, uh, you know, we agreed on on a lot of stuff, what, you know, what it was throw, but some reason, uh, you know, some reason they probably didn't want it to go. They, 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 they decided not to and uh, negotiations broke down. What has it been like dealing with Fury and his team? Not a very pleasant experience, and uh, hopefully the next one would be better. You sound a little frustrated even talking about it. Is there some frustration with you, uh, with uh, Usyk, about the no negotiations? Look, no, the, the, there is no frustration. You know, I don't have to worry about My man has a three titles, and that one title doesn't mean, you know, it means, of course, a lot, but it's not kind of end, end of the world. We're keeping, we're keeping, we're going to be keeping Kusik busy, and if it's going to come, Fury in the in a, in a end is going to come. If it's not going to come, look, uh, we're not going to chase it like, you know, like, like crazy about it. After this mandatory, is there anybody else you would consider? Is there anybody Usyk would like to fight outside of uh, Tyson Fury? Does a perhaps a Deontay Wilder fight interest him? Of course, it could it can happen. Deontay Wilder, you know, there is a, some uh, new upcoming guys, you know, good guy, good 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 fighters, heavyweights. Um, right now, we are very focused on uh, Daniel Dubois. And as soon as we're going to done that, or if it's not going to happen or it's going to happen, so then we're going to be looking in a different path. Right now, everybody, the whole team, including Alexander, we concentrated on Daniel. Will he be here on uh, Saturday to support Lomachenko? Unfortunately not. He just came out from Ukraine. Uh, his wife uh, has a birthday. And, uh, you know, they, they're gathering a lot of, and they're putting together also, including uh, at the, <laughs> these people are very brave because they're having her birthday and as well at the same time we're having a Usyk Foundation. He has he has set up a Usyk Foundation where he is helping people who lost their houses back in Ukraine, who are struggling. So they're putting that together. That's a beautiful thing. Will the rumored Saudi tournament happen in December? Yes, there is a lot of talks about it. And as uh, I told uh, no, I've been I've been contacted by people from from Saudi talk about the Usyk, and I told them one thing, and I'm going to repeat it. Look, the four guys, Joshua, Joshua Wilder, Fury, Usyk, the only one guy who's a free promotion, the only guy who's a free broadcast network. We don't have no uh, obligations to anybody. Hey, send me a contract, send me a ticket, and we're going to be on a plane. We saw you uh, talking to Bill Haney earlier, and at the press conference, you talked about uh, both sides being respectful. Um, you guys are very thankful for the opportunity. Talk a little bit more about how it has been dealing with the Haneys um, during this promotion. Look, you know, uh, I had, I, uh, you know, we had the relationship, you know, with not the brothers, not the best buddies, but uh, we had a good relationship with Bill all the time. Uh, you no, know, he was completely right. You know, four years ago, he contacted me and would be asking to, you know, what's the possibilities to fight Loma. And uh, at that time, uh, Devin, you know, he wasn't, he had no titles. He, you know, he got the, just a few fights, you know. Loma came to this game. He had no time to fight the young fighters because we were fighting the champions or like very high uh, rate uh, in the ranking guys. And um, 
Uh, we didn't have a chance, but uh, every time I see Bill, he was always like, hey, I guess when we're going to fight Loma, when we're going to fight Loma, and uh, kind of like, uh, you know, hey, let your man to become some somebody in the boxing, and then we're going to fight, and there we go. You know, look, big respect, David Haney, undisputed champion. It's, you know, we fight, we're fighting with Loma now. How much do you think the loss to Tiofimo still bothers Loma? It's not bothering him at all, absolutely. As you probably saw one of his interviews, he thanked Teofimo, he thanked Teofimo team. What happened? He lost, he lost the titles, but he gained a lot more important for him. That loss has changed his life. Uh, he became a better person, he became a better man. And uh, he won something else, which is a more important for him in his life than these belts. He has talked about it. You have definitely talked about this being Lemma's last chance at Undisputed. Why do you think that is? Uh, well, you know, it's not it's not a secret. Uh, Devin is, is a big guy. He's a bigger guy. He has a problems. Uh, not the problems, but um, he has to work very, very hard to to do 135 pounds. We, know, we will see also tomorrow how he's going to do with the weight. But uh, uh, he's been talking and built a lot, a lot of talks, but he want to go to 140 pounds. So if Loma not going to get this chance on Saturday night and uh, and 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 it would be probably probably just the speculations <clears throat> probably will be David's last fight at the 135. He's gonna go to 140. All the titles gonna get lost, vacated, or, uh, vacated. So to go and to gather again, all four into one place, it would be very long time. As we know, Loma is already 35 in that weight class. He doesn't have another three, four years to do that. So this is why we considering or this is why we're thinking it's a last chance for him. How close do you think Loma is to retirement? Is he already talking about it? You think he's considering it? How, how much longer do you see him fighting? Look. If it would be up to me, I would like to see him 10 years, 15 <laughs> years more. But unfortunately, it's up to him. Not unfortunately, fortunately, it's up to him. And uh, what he said, then he went in the mo one morning when he woke up and he would say, I am tired, I don't want to run. That's when he's going to retire. So far, he waking up every morning and with enthusiasm to fight more. If Lomachenko was victorious on Saturday, why do you think he will win? His skills, his style, and his experience. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it. Good luck on Saturday. Thank you very much.